Hey, so we've been burlesing for some really tiny insects in, uh, in some various families for the Peterson field guide that we're doing. So today I just thought you, I would show you how we're looking for these tiny little insects. And so this may be something that you want to try in your backyard. So if this is something that interests you, you can like and subscribe and you'll be notified when we make more videos like this. Okay, so what are you doing? I am going to gather some leaf litter uh, that we can then put in a Berlizi funnel in order to um, find some hopefully different very cool soil dwelling arthropods, soil and leaf dwelling arthropods, things like uh, columbula, mites, diplura, symphyla, poropods, protura, things like that. Awesome, let's do it. <clears throat> Is there a reason you chose this tree? Well, I have been having pretty good success around these big oaks uh, at our place. And so I'm just kind of going around different bases of these different big oak trees. And um, versus, say, some of the pine trees, although there's certainly stuff around those as well. And um, just... Try and find a spot with lots of poison ivy? Exactly. I try to dodge that as much as possible, usually unsuccessfully, but gather up some of the leaf litter. Um, and then also I like to scrape down in and get some of the real soil. Why well. do you do that? Because that's where some of the other kinds of things are that you wouldn't get just in the leaf litter. The, the proturins and some phylins and stuff really get into the soil a bit. Dodge it's poison ivy. And so there's a whole community of things that you find in uh, the soil itself, just you know, within a few inches. And um, and so that's why I'm trying to, to gather it as well as just the leaf litter, because you have different communities in both uh, both areas. So have you tried around pine trees as well? I have, and you certainly get lots of columbula and such like that, but I find some of the more interesting like microhymenoptera, you know, like chalcidoids and um, some of the things that I'm just kind of after right now, I tend to find more predominantly around these uh, oak trees. So I just right now I've been focusing on that. Have you tried like lichen or anything else? Uh, yes, it, it, you know, historically I haven't moss? done so much of that right now, but absolutely I've done moss and lichen and just uh, pieces of rotting log, all those kinds of things to help drive out uh, the fauna, yeah. Cool. So there you have it. That's our, that's our stuff. All, all sorts of little uh, cool critters in there, hopefully. We'll show you, we'll show you what we find in there. And uh, maybe some new species to science, right? I hope so. It's certainly <laughs> possible, if not probable. <laughs> We did this uh, about a year and a half ago because um, we realized we didn't have very many columbula pictures for the same reason, for the Peterson Guide. And uh, we actually were sending off our pictures to experts and there were six species in our backyard that were not yet described to science. So, so that's really cool. Yeah, want to find new stuff, just look for the tiny stuff. That's right, not very many people. One thing too, I'm using just this pan because I'm just walking right back into our garage but um, when, when we're a little farther flung from the Berlizzi funnels or Winkler traps then I will just put this material in um, like a cloth pillowcase. Uh, it works great, doesn't overheat as easily as say plastic, uh, it can breathe and uh, that's how I would transport stuff back if I was further away. Cool. Excellent. Let's see what's in there. Okay, so these are the Berlizzi funnels. So what's going on here? Well, so this, 
you can make the these are bio quip ones but you can uh, make something like this super easy um, yourself this is just uh, a bucket got a little um, container um, in the bottom of it that everything is going to collect in it's like a two gallon bucket or something right yeah something like that um, and then uh, but I've seen them you know you can make them out of a well I guess you don't buy coffee in tins anymore but in the olden days, coffee tins or five-gallon buckets, anything like that will work. Main thing is finding a, some kind of funnel that will fit in your bucket. Um, uh, and so it's just a funnel open at the end. Um, these from BioQuip, they just have two wires going across to support then some hardware cloth. I put a little bit of um, window screening on top of that, mainly just so that all the dirt doesn't... And, smaller leaves don't just go right through it but it kind of gives it a place to stop and then the insects will basically walk around that and fall through so the idea is you put some of your leaf material uh, and, and soil uh, on this um, and then we're going to put a light on top of that the heat drives everything away down into the funnel and you can collect it down you know, at the bottom. So we're looking for tiny stuff that lives in the leaf litter. So like what kind of critters? Springtails, uh, beetles, different kinds of beetles. There are some leps, uh, flies, hymenoptera, uh, diplura, some phyla. All sorts of goodies. All but sorts of... Uh, tiny goodies. And the reason we started doing this is because we're working on the Peterson Field Guide to Insects in North America, and um, we realized that we were missing a t pictures for a ton of these really teeny tiny hymenoptera that um, live in the leaf litter. So we're trying to remedy our lack of images for that. So um, John just put lids on these with light bulbs on them, so these insects do not like light, so they're going to move away from the light and down as far as they can and to the try heat. and get away, and the heat, and uh, go down into our little collection vials. So uh, we'll I'm, I've got them, you can put alcohol in the collection uh, reservoir, but I've got it, I want to photograph these things alive, so I just have an empty uh, bottle, and I just check it, you know, every few hours, because um, some things will dry out fairly quickly. Uh, so I just check it every few hours and see what I have. Yippee skippy. Okay, so that is what we found in our Berlizi funnel and we will do a video on how we photograph this super tiny stuff because I mean this is like some of the stuff is like the size of a grain of sand so we will do a video on how we photograph stuff that tiny and we will also um, I left some video I left all the video at the end of this so after our little final like Abbott nature um, image we will uh i have like five minutes of 
just what we had crawling around in our real easy funnel because I love watching that stuff and I thought maybe you guys would too. So thanks for watching. If you like this uh, video, if you could hit the like button and subscribe so you see more uh, videos like this when we make them. Thanks. Bye.